Welcome back, folks. Here's the thing. I've seen a lot of disgusting Premiere Pro workspaces. As an editor, it's really important to have an efficient workspace and use your screen real estate properly. The default layout that Adobe gives you isn't that good, in my opinion. Actually, I think it's pretty terrible. I've spent a lot of time making my workspace perfect for everything I do. One big problem with Premiere, you know those, those tabs up the top? Often when you click them, the, the program just freezes and it needs to load all the new panels that you're opening. This is a problem for me. When I want to start color grading, I don't want to have to like wait for all these panels that I'm not even going to use to, to load and open. So what I've done is I've maximized one workspace with all the panels that I need and I can switch between editing and coloring, no problem, and everything looks the same. It's kind of hard to explain, so let's hop onto the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're here in Premiere, I have the default workspace open, um, and let's quickly just take a look at what's going on here. We got all these panels that we're probably not gonna be using, and they're just taking up space where we could have panels that we will be using. So why don't we open up a project? Let's open up the last video we made. Okay, so the first problem here, let's click on a clip and look at our effects controls. I have to scroll to get to all these settings. And if I'm trying to, to use this plugin that I use for color grading, I'm limited to like only a little bit at a time. This metadata tab, never gonna use it. Audio clip mixer, not gonna use it. Libraries, don't even know what that is. Info, nope. History, nope. Also, I don't really like how squished my timeline feels here. Let's start pulling all this stuff out of the way and maximize our workspace here. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. We're kind of prioritizing our timeline here. Now let's fix this effects control panel problem where I don't wanna be scrolling to see all my effects. I wanna be able to access more effects at once. So let's, why don't we pull this over here and let's fix that real quick. So we're sacrificing a little bit of the timeline real estate here, but I don't mind because I prefer being able to see more of my effects rather than seeing more clips. Uh, now let's, let's just tweak this a little bit more, pull that up, pull this over, looking good. So one thing I like to do is leave notes when I'm editing. So I'm gonna take these markers and put them over here on my effects control. I wanna quickly show you how these markers work. A lot of people don't actually know that you can leave notes on your timeline. Even I just recently found this out. Uh, so if I leave a marker, it pops up over here uh, as a box and you can type whatever you want. So I can be like, add B-roll here. And then now later I can come back and find that. And I can just double click on the image and it should uh, bring my playhead to that uh, marker. Something you wanna do is put panels together that you don't need at the same time. So I don't really need my effects controls the same time I need my markers. That's, there's no problem there. But two panels that I need together all the time are my effects controls and my scopes. So let's open up our scopes here. And this is where I like to keep my scopes over on the left. So I never really need to use like my project window with my scopes at the same time. So those work well together. Uh, my effects as well. I don't really need to have my effects open with my scopes open. I can swap between those two. Another thing is to use your shortcuts. So when I'm coloring, to switch between editing and coloring mode, instead of having to click that color button, which can often cause my Premiere to lag, uh, I have Shift R set to my scopes, and then that way I'm good to go. So it's just a quick switch from color, or from editing to color. And if you like to use a uh, Lumetri or Lumetri, however you say it, I would recommend adding that to the same area um, and just keeping everything sort of on this side. But for me, when I'm using Lumetri, I actually don't even bother with this panel. I just quickly do the effects in my effects control. It just has a little bit less uh, UI features. One more thing we gotta fix here is our source monitor. So if I'm on a clip and I hit master, now we have two panels here. Now, most of the time, I don't really need to see both at the same time. Uh, so what I like to do is pull my source over to my program and then I can switch between the two here. And that way I still get to see my scopes and I can see the video. Now I know a lot of people do like to use the program and the source windows together um, side by side. If, if you like to do that, I mean, that's up to you, but I like to, to stack them. Another thing I like to do is put my media browser over here with my source and program. That way I can have my project here and I can pull footage from my drives to my project, no problem. And when I'm transferring media, I don't need to see my source window or my program window. So in some ways we actually have an assembly 
and editing and coloring all in one workspace. So now this layout is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna add a couple more windows that I like to use. Essential graphics uh, is pretty important when you're changing your text and adding text and using motion graphics. And I like to drag it over with my effects controls panel. And one thing to note here, sometimes if you have uh, a lot of graphics in here and you have it set to browse, it can actually slow down your Premiere a little bit. So I like to always hit edit. I don't know if it actually does anything, it makes a difference, but uh, we'll jump back to effects controls anyways. And that's pretty much it. This is my workspace. Um, this is how I've optimized, condensed, simplified my Premiere to work best for me. I'd recommend taking a look at what I've done here and implementing it into your own workspace. You don't want to be shifting through panels and looking for where your things are. This is just a really nice way to have everything condensed and working well together on screen. Feel free to try out this uh, layout yourself. Do what you think works best. Uh, another tip here is to make sure you have shortcuts for all your windows so you can quickly switch between your project and your scopes and your your effects panel and your control whatever your timeline especially if you have a lot of panels stacked that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful for you uh, feel free to subscribe hit that like button if this video helped you out and let me know down in the comments if there's anything you do differently i am very interested to know how your workspace is